Now, a drug developed by a Vancouver company has shown a lot of promise in the battle to save people from the coronavirus. This drug right now is in clinical trials, and the company's CEO believes it could save lives in the months to come if it's fully approved for widespread use in the future. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling talked to the CEO, and she has more on this company in Vancouver. Jennifer? Yes, Wayne, it's exciting news. The CEO said it was already being tested in patients with HIV and cancer tumors. Uh, he says it's also likely that it will help coronavirus patients as well. Now, the company in Vancouver is called Cytodyne. It has offices there, and the drug's name is Lira Lima. The company's CEO says it will not stop the transmission of something like coronavirus, but it will stop some people from dying. In simple terms, he says it works by calming down the body's immune system and a potential over response to the virus. By mitigating that response, he says it's believed that the body can better fight off something like coronavirus. The body can handle that virus. If you calm the body down, it'll be like a flu. What happens to the flu virus? It goes away because the body can handle it. Pro 140, which is what the name long time ago is Liron Lima, is a product that modulates the immune system. So the immune system gets corrected. So the cytokine storm does not happen. It actually allows the body to get through this and be able to get discharged from the hospital and not get on ventilator. Nadir says several patients in a hospital were injected with a drug after it was requested by a doctor there for compassionate use. That is allowed by the FDA. He says upon seeing the results, the FDA gave the company the green light for more randomized trials, uh, that involving severe and mild to moderate patients. He says 40 patients have already been injected from the severe population. They are waiting on those results. And he says there could be some information published uh, this coming up week on the results of the drug. We'll keep looking for that. We'll hear more from Nadir coming up tonight on Coin6 News at 6. Back to you, Wayne. All right. Very interesting. Thank you, Jennifer.